I just want to talk about something called binasal occlusion. This is a strategy we use all the time with patients after they've had a concussion and are still experiencing symptoms. We use this for people who complain of things like difficulty reading, headaches, difficulty walking around in a busy environment, uh, difficulty being a passenger or a driver in a car, um, hard time on the computer, watching television. All of these things are things that would let us as a team to try binasal occlusion with someone. So what you do is you take either your existing reading glasses or regular glasses or a pair of dollar store magnifiers where you pop the lenses out. So these have no lenses in it. And what you do is you can do two things. You want to tape, put tape, cloudy scotch tape, on the inside or the nasal side of the glasses. So when you put it on, it's the nasal side of the glasses. And you can do it either in a straight line like this or you can do it on an angle like this where it's narrow at the bottom and wider at the top. So how you can see if this is going to work for you is find, um, read a magazine or read a book, try it with the, with the tape and try it without the tape and see if you notice a difference. What our patients notice is they often can read smoother, it's easier to read, so they report that their, their eyes move easily across the page or the words say stable on the page or the words are clearer. You're always looking for it to be more helpful and not worse. Sometimes it takes a bit of playing around with the tape to make sure you get it to uh, the right place for you. We often start around the edge of the iris and or a little bit narrower. So you just can move it in or out depending on how it works for you. If initially you put it on and you don't notice a difference, you might need to go wider. If you put it on and it bugs you, you need to go narrower. And then you try vertical or on an angle depending what works for you. If it helps, then you should use th those glasses or the binasal occlusion anytime you're reading, anytime you're on the computer, anytime that you're watching television. Um, if you have difficulty walking around or being in a busy environment or being in a car, you can do it. You can try using it walking around as well and see if that helps. Some of our patients, what we recommend is you actually put the tape on the back side of a pair of sunglasses because then it's not so noticeable. So if you're walking around, you can wear sunglasses with tape on and it doesn't show up at all. Um, and some people will just have lightly tinted sunglasses um, if they're in a grocery store. That way they don't look like a movie star walking around with sunglasses on. The main thing is this should always be helpful. It should always make you feel better. It shouldn't make you feel worse. And we usually recommend that people try it for at least a week to see if it's going to help at all. If you're finding that it initially helped and then it was starting to not be as effective, what we recommend to people is to move the tape in a little bit narrower. So it's a nice, easy strategy that you can try to see if it's going to help you with concussion, and we find a lot of our patients find it extremely helpful.